Hey Yuri, as requested, your wish has been granted. Today we are going to illustrate jasmine with green leaves and we are just going to use three simple steps and then we are going to do copy and paste and we will be able to finish this in no time. We are going to start off with a screen resolution of 2080 into 2860 and then I am using coarse watercolor blush to add the background of the illustration. So we are going to have a two tone shade here. One would be the green with light green and then a little more dark green and a little black color to make it look like a backdrop of a leaf and then we are going to use a wash brush to slowly smudge across the entire layer you don't have to go in any form or format you can just blend as you wish once we are done we are going to add a new layer for our leaf layer there will be two set of leaf one will be the darker in shade leaf one will be in the lighter in shade leaf you are just going to use fountain pen and here it, as you can see it's not much visible for the darker leaf because of the backdrop but you can definitely see how this is going to be we're just going to add a freehand stage here one by just pulling in a line and then adding a leafy structure and then filling using the fill bucket option and then i'm going to add a new layer for the green lighter shade of the leaf here again i'm going to add four leaf in this and then we are just going to use the help of fill bucket to fill once we are done we are just going to copy and paste i have done for the dark shade here the darker shade of green you can do the exact same for the lighter shade also which you can actually see for the darker shade i forgot to click the record button but anyway since I we are going to repeat the same step for the lighter leaf i thought we'll carry it along we are already halfway through the illustration it's such a simple illustration when yuri had requested i think there are other things which happen on a weekly basis like on saturday we have a food theme going on i paint any of the food from my idea or something through images and on sunday we do have our weekly podcast from monday to friday is where the window opens for me to illustrate one day will definitely be for your request like on every monday moving forward if there is any request of a subscriber i'll definitely look forward to illustrate and share with you and i hope and i see that a lot of people do enjoy when it is a subscriber request illustration i think everybody has the illustration in their mind and not a lot of people are okay to comment and ask someone to illustrate but please feel free to do that in our channel because i happily read each and every one of your comment and if it's possible i definitely illustrate and share with you and i do understand there's someone reaching in instagram for me to do a logo with a light uh, popping around it uh, and I, that is in the pipeline and we will definitely try to finish this up in this week itself so once we are done doing the adding of the leaf we are just going to add new layer for our jasmine so this is like an indian version of the jasmine here because i feel like there is different type of jasmine flower one with a very thick petal one with a very thin edgy petal so this jasmine is very locally produced and it is the most common thing i have seen so we are just going to use a drying brush to add those leafy structure just make sure you have that little tiny edge which is very pointy and the rest all remains same and for the middle i'm just going to add two tone of yellow once we are going to add we are going to use our blending brush to brush uh, blend this across to make it look a little bit more appealing you can actually let the jasmine be as how it is because i think it's absolutely look like an artwork and you can and just add few more jasmine here or there rather than what i did was i made sure i blend it across and then i copy and pasted the rest of the jasmine in the canvas so now we are slowly blending it across using the blending brush just make sure you blend the edge of the petal because i don't want it to be a little bit roughy as how it looks i want it to be a little smoother and more of like a realistic here but not so realistic as well i hope you understand and i could have added few different shape of that same jasmine but i felt like it's monday and we are all starting off there with a little bit sleepy tired and whatever and then we are just going to pull off today i thought let's keep it simple we are going to draw three elements and then we are going to copy and paste and fill the entire canvas using it and when i was going through all the comment screenshot which i usually take if there is any request i came across this i'm like oh this is interesting i would definitely do this for you because why not start a monday blue with some beautiful jasmine flower and i really enjoy it 
with the smell of jasmine uh, not a fan but still i do enjoy a lot of flowers i'm a plant-based person i like to take photos of flowers and i feel healing when i'm around with plants if you are someone as a like me who enjoy plant definitely like this video comment down below will be great friends and now we like you see i'm just copy and pasting it around the canvas and also if you look i'm using the distort option to make it look in a little different shape by pulling the edge inside or the outside like how i just did so that's uh, the simple way of making an entire canvas full of illustration on a monday and hope you guys have enjoyed make sure to like share and subscribe if you are new here please consider subscribing this is a thriving community to build a like-minded people and take you to the level of success and if you are already a subscriber thank you very much your comment and your subscribing subscribing means a lot to me and see you all tomorrow till then have a great life enjoy yourself life it's too short for regret so leave your best see you bye bye